Hello, Gregor Otero here with the Prometheus Initiative. So, I'm going to have my first video where we're going to talk about some concepts. And the first concept we're going to talk about is fractal reality. Now, there's an ancient symbol right here. Do 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 do. The dot within the circle. Okay? Now, archaeologists usually attribute this symbol to mean the sun. To me, I think there's a little bit more to it than meets the eye. And to me, it's the fundamental symbol for our reality. And that's a fractal structure. And that when you zoom in on the dot, you'll see another circle with another dot in it. When you zoom in on that dot, you'll see another circle with that dot in it. So, let's apply this concept with as above, so below. A famous saying from the Emerald Tablet. If you haven't read it, I highly, highly recommend it. Go on to Wikipedia and take the Emerald Tablet. It's 15 lines of phenomenal philosophy. Great philosophy. So go read it if you haven't. And then think about it. If you ever read philosophy before, you might read, make you read the entire book in pages of pages. 15 lines. Just 15 lines that revolutionize the concept of reality. Anyways, dot within a circle. So let's apply this. You got the Earth, and you got the Moon rotating around the Earth. You know, in a well, it's elliptical orbit, but let's just say a circular orbit, and the Earth then rotating around the Sun, and the, and our solar system then rotating around our galactic center in the galaxy, and the galaxy rotating around the other galaxies around the center of a cluster, and then a supercluster, and so on, and then you go all the way down to the um, the small scale the atoms. You got electrons orbiting around the nucleus. And in the nucleus you got protons and neutrons. And I haven't seen this in terms of physics, but I'm theorizing then you'd have quarks rotating inside the protons and the neutrons in the same fashion. And actually at one point I'm gonna talk about how these quarks orbit within a proton neutron, which I've never heard anyone else discuss before. The simple notions of using vortex theory and how these quarks actually operate within a proton and a neutron. And we'll also talk about vortex theory, which is a very interesting thing. Now, fractal reality. So, we're seeing this fundamental fractal of a dot within a circle. So now what we want to do is to understand what this fractal is, how this fractal can evolve into more complex patterns, and then the goal being that I want to do with all this is not just learning to understand it and to gain this knowledge, but then to apply it. To know and not to do is not to know, as the Chinese philosopher once said. I want to replicate this structure. And the structure is going to be a little bit more complicated than this dot within a circle. It's still the basis to it, but I want to replicate this structure. So, is there anything else I want to talk about fractal reality? I don't know. This is where you can come in, okay? This is where you can post your own YouTube video and share some about what you have to say about fractal reality. Or you can go over onto Project Avalon. ProjectAvalon.net. On the forum, I've started a thread. Maybe it'll turn into a whole CAG or something. I don't know. I really don't care. It would be really cool if we can talk about this stuff. Go over to it and just search on the forum for Prome Prometheus Initiative. It's under the in terms of categories, Product Avalon, Free Energy, then Prometheus Initiative. And my name on, on Project Avalon is Gregor Artero. At the moment, the site is down due to a free speech issue. Go figure. Um, it should be back up tomorrow. Avalon is a very unique site, let me tell you that. Anyways, I think that's it. I sort of just shared the idea of a fractal reality. And the big notion here is the concept of material. Now they got this big thing on the Switzerland uh, France border uh, called the, the, the Large Hadron Collider. And they're trying to find a smaller particle called the Higgs boson. Well, guess what? I think also Nassim Harriman said this too, by the way. They're going to find the particle. And then they're going to build a bigger collider to find an even smaller particle, and they're going to find it. And eventually, 
some physicist is going to eventually realize, wait a minute, it doesn't matter what this stuff is made out of, it's all made out of the same thing, i.e. consciousness, but I'm not going to go there right now, maybe we'll get into some metaphysics and some spirituality, besides that, what matters is the structure and how it bonds together, how things interact, and I'll talk about that in my next vid, thank you, namaste.